Start out with the color blocked front pieces. So I have my top here, which is out of a nylon athletic knit. I have my front main piece, and I actually am doing this one out of Liverpool. It has less vertical stretch than most athletic knits, so this one is going to be a little bit more of a compression type sports bra where it has a little higher impact, but it will be a compression style. And then my sides are this cute little gingham right here, and this is actually a swim nylon knit. So... I'm just going to put my sides on right here. I'm going to use some clips to hold them in place. Remember you want to align them at the 3 8 inch seam allowance. It's a smaller seam allowance. I tend to do all my swimwear and bras and things like that with this smaller 3 8 inch seam. And make sure that's the seam allowance you're taking. And I'm going to go ahead and pin on my other one at the same time. Right sides together. It's important on these little corners that you're aligning them at the 3 8 seam allowance. my serger on. I'm going to serge at that 3 8 seam allowance. You should be cutting off an eighth of an inch. Got caught my uh, long tails. I had just changed the colors. Said really long tails. Got caught back in there. Okay. There we go. Should make a nice smooth top. The top is slightly curved, but it should be nice and smooth here. It should also be nice and smooth here. If you took the correct seam allowance, your seam allowance will hang down a little bit and we'll trim that off. It should be a teeny, teeny tiny little triangle of a seam allowance, but your pieces should create a nice smooth if they don't, that means you didn't align it at the seam allowance or you didn't take the correct seam allowance. Three eighths is a little bit different than what you usually are sewing. Unless you sew a lot of swimwear. Or lingerie, bras. Again, it should be nice and smooth here. Nice and smooth here. So there's our full bottom front piece. I really prefer to top stitch almost everywhere on this sports bra. Just gives it a tiny bit more structure, keeps everything in place. So I'm going to move you over to my sewing machine so you can watch me top stitch. Okay, here we are at my machine. I'm going to use the triple step zigzag. It's my favorite on a high stretch item like this. Go nice and slow. You want to make sure you're not stretching your fabric as you pull through. I do not have a walking foot on right now. But a lot of people really like to have a walking foot on when top stitching knits. Here's my triple step zigzag. And I'm just going to go along the other seam. So sorry. Both seams are top stitched. 
You could also do this with um, your cover stitch if you have a cover stitch. And now I'm going to add on the top. Okay, here we are now with our seams top stitched. And I am going to put my top on, right sides together, aligning the center notches. Again, I cut all my pieces on the fold in any pattern with a little notch because it finds the center for you and you almost always need to find the center of pieces. I just find it easier to cut a notch than finding the center later. Okay, I'm going to zip down this seam with a 3 8 seam allowance. You really want to take off slowly at that beginning. Make sure you get that full seam allowance. And again at the end. Especially if you're using a serger like me. Sergers really like to take off a little funky at the beginning, I think. Not as precise as a sewing machine. But if you get your seam allowance perfect with that notch, you should have a very smooth transition here. See, so I didn't get quite as smooth on that one. I always find the takeoff to be a little bit harder on a serger. You can base that in place before so it is perfect. Don't think I got mine too off that I need to redo it, but I am going to press this and top stitch it. I think I'll press mine up. It doesn't matter if you press it up or down. I'm back from the sewing machine. I have top stitched along the seam. Now I have a full front piece and I'm